Hello everybody, back here again for another, I guess, idiot's guide to woodworking. And I decided to try and build myself a um, multi-shelf, um, I don't know, maybe it's going to be a cat stand, maybe it's going to be a plant stand, I don't really know yet. But my goal is to make three legs, one in the back, and then one on each side with a rounded shelves. So in order to make my rounded shelves, I went ahead and just took a piece of scrap, uh, large chip particle board, screwed a screw into it. And I should have glued down a couple strips here and here, but I didn't bother with that yet. Um, this project's not that super important. So the next thing I did is I had a piece of some three quarter inch ply here that I will back up into that screw. And then I just kind of measure and center it, which it doesn't really matter exactly as long as I have it somewhat squared. Then the next thing I do is I go ahead and take this next large chip particle board. It could be plywood, could be solid wood, could be whatever. And I even that up to each edge here. As you can see, I'm smoothing that edge here. And on this side, I go ahead and I'm smoothing that edge. So it's not perfectly square, this board here isn't. So I'm gonna have to kind of work around it and I just minimize the gap. Then I take a regular um, ballpoint pen, wrap the string around it a few times, hook the other end of the string to the screw, and that gives my arch that I can just trace out right here on it. If you want your arch to be bigger, just let your string Unroll your pin like so, make a bigger arch. If you need it to be smaller, roll your pit, your string up tighter, and you're good to go. So once that's done, I'm gonna run those over. I've actually got them all traced out. I've got small, medium, and large shelf. I've got a small one. This is my medium, and then my large shelf is here. You can see the cutout, the cutout line. Um, it's kind of doubled up right here because the pin moved on me. I wasn't holding the pin perfectly straight up and down. So if you're wanting to make something super important. I would highly recommend taking yourself another piece of scrap wood, maybe a one by six or just a, I mean, one by four, one by whatever, and then drill a hole in it and let the pin drop through it. So you lay a flat board with the pin hanging straight down and make your line. So this is not that important of a concept. If it becomes a cat stand, I'm going to wrap these pieces in carpet. If it's a plant stand, I'm probably just going to put about eight coats of paint on it, sand between coats, and kind of get rid of some of this ugly grain here. So. Uh, for the uprights, I don't know what I'm using yet. Probably just some 1x4. I might rip it down a little bit thinner, um, resaw it, but most likely I'll probably just rip it into like a 3 inch piece instead of 3.5. So I'll head over to the bandsaw next and I'll let you know next step. Have yourself a great day. Well, I'm back for the next stage of this corner shelf item here. and. As you can clearly see, I've got a large, a medium, and a small, and I didn't bother showing you cutting on the bandsaw. Any of you guys can find how to cut a, a half circle or quarter circle, I guess this would be on a bandsaw. I went ahead, as you can kind of see, I've left just a tiny little bit of the line right there. I'll hit it with a sander, and I'll smooth that out. Again, this don't need to be perfect. It's going to be wrapped in carpet, or it's going to be painted and set plants on, so either way, not that important. As you can also tell, I've got a little bit of tear out down here from the bandsaw blade, ripping through. And that's not that big a deal. Again, I'll flip it over, hit it with my hand sander, and I'll be good to go. So um, I didn't measure these out at all. I just kind of went with the biggest shelf I could make on each of the pieces of scrap plywood I had, or particle board, I mean. And what I did was, you can see this one's definitely, the bottom does not have as big a gap as it is the medium to the small. And if I really wanted to, I could cut another, like a fourth shelf in here. But I don't want the stand to be that tall. So I'm just going to go ahead and live with it. I figure there's going to be at least a foot probably between each one of these, so I can't imagine anybody's going to notice that difference, especially wrap some carpet on it, and I might even make different colored carpet. That way it kind of changes a little bit more there too, so it's less likely to be spotted, but I can't imagine anybody really giving a darn at this point on it, and if they're that picky, I won't give it to them. So this is at the moment going to be possibly a Christmas gift is what my plan is with it, and if it works out well, I might make a few more for some other people, but right now... It's just, I don't know, I saw this on um, Woodworking from Mere Mortals, and he made a really nice piece, and I'm just using absolutely the cheapest wood I have to give it a try, see what I think of it, and if I like it, then I'll upgrade. And what I'll probably do then is I'll use my router, and I'll actually cut these out in full circles on much bigger pieces of um, wood, and then I'll quarter them so I can have four shelves when I make it next time. So, anyway, um, that's what I know for now. Have yourself a... Uh, Great time, and once I get the next step, I'll be back.
Hello, back here for the next little segment of this corner shelf plant stand or whatever the heck it's going to be. Not really sure what it is. Like I said, this was pretty much just a test run to try out the angles and whatnot. I went with um, the Word Workers from Mere Mortals. I went with his um, 15 degree um, belief on the legs down there. Didn't think to first and as I come up you can see my corner shelf sticks out a little too far here and this top one sticks out way too far so definitely um, not a big fan of there I'm gonna have to rework the angles I gotta start with the bottom one much much bigger or I've got to put a little bit less than a 15 degree angle on there or a little more that like to keep it closer to 90 so I'm not going down quite much I'd say maybe a five degree angle let it tilt back plus the top three get a little too close together here you can see the difference these boards are the exact same length um, that's how much I lost in the 15 degree angle. So again, not a big deal. My plan is to, um, I thought about leaving these up just a little ways to give that little look of a backdrop. I don't think I'm going to like that right now for some reason. So my plan is just to run these over to the bandsaw and just knock these things off each one at a time level with the platform. I don't know if it's going to work on the bandsaw or not. I'll have to see if I can get that through there. I might have to actually say to heck with it and run it through with like a hand circular saw or for that matter even just a plain old hand saw so it won't take long these boards are pretty I don't know they're not high quality or not nothing special um, the shelves here in order to support those let me see if I can get that laid up here a little bit higher so we can get a little better look at it and basically what we have here is I cut the backs off like I said and I glued on blocks I glued on three little blocks just some scrap wood this will definitely um, probably not make it to my final design the boards I'll use for the uprights are going to be a little thicker, and so is the particle board, so I'm going to cut rabbits into the legs. The problem I'm going to have there is making sure I find the right angle here to cut these rabbits in, the dados, whatever you want to call them. So that's going to be a little interesting. The back one's going to be super simple because it's going to be straight. They're just dead across, 90 degrees, not a big deal. The next ones I'm going to have to figure out how to lay out each one of those. There is going to be a mimicking of whatever this angle is going to be. So if this ends up being 7 degrees, those will each be 7 degrees. If it's 10, it's 10, whatever the heck it turns out to be. So right now I just kind of wanted to stick these on here real quick. And they are just screwed in. The blocks are glued to the particle board, but they're screwed into the legs. So I can pull it apart, paint it real quick. Or like I said, if I want to wrap this in some carpet or whatever. Which I realize the shelves are just way too small to be cat beds. The middle shelf and bottom shelf might work for cats, but the top definitely won't. So I'll talk to a friend of mine who has some cats and see if she wants to try it out for me before I bother putting a coat of paint on it, whatever. And then if she wants some paint on there, she wants to keep it, I'll let her have it just as kind of a, I guess, test example. And what I've done, because I was using this really crappy particle board right here, I screwed it into the blocks. That way the block is what's actually doing all the holding. It's going to get a little more weight support. The fun part is going to be is coming here and cutting these off. Like I said, it won't be that big a deal. Worst case scenario, I could, worst case scenario, I'll use a flush trim bit that's going to have a bearing on the end, just let it right against the plywood, the particle board, and saw right through there. So, anyway, um, that's what I know for now. And once I get the top chopped off, I'll probably throw a couple pictures of it up. And then if it works out for anything, I'll let you know my final results in about a month. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Well, I'm back for the final little bit of this um, corner shelf before I test it out and see if people like it or not. Uh, as you notice, the top is actually uh, standing proud. What I ended up with that is the fact the way my bandsaw works, the um, my height is too narrow or too short to cover this whole thing. So where this board landed against my adjustments, left it out that far from the blade. So it's not too bad. Um, I think if I was doing this well, I would probably cut those down before I put it all together because I'll do a little better test fitting. And then I'll have my measurements a lot more accurate, keep it a lot flatter. And if I kind of like the look of that now that I'm seeing it for true. If these were out here to the edge a little more, where it would look a little more natural, I think I'm going to like the sticking up above. Plus it will give me some place if I wanted to actually stick a screw through here and kind of anchor it to the wall. If I want to do something like that, it would be kind of nice also. So. Um, I'll hit that with a sander, kind of knock off those sharp edges, maybe and run a router bed around the top if I lay the router on here and corner around this over. So just kind of knock off some of the sharp edges would be kind of neat too. So this project, the moment's done until I get, I guess, some other input from people and see what they think of it. So thanks for watching. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day.